be found at Bunker. <sighs> Underground Bunker. Whoa. Come on, Lily, you come in? <laughs> Alright, we've got light. Alright, it's not very big, is it? Well, it is a small bunker. I'm not going down the tunnel. I can't see anything because you're in the way. It's nothing major, it's just a small bunker. There's a pipe in the bucket. I saw. Is there a room? No. It just says that they down into a pipe. And then there's a bucket. It looks like um, it goes to the. Good afternoon. Uh, still got people in the forest doing their thing. Um, today, uh, me and Sam came over to finish chopping trees because these are coming down tomorrow. Oh, it's Tuesday today, Wednesday tomorrow. Uh, they're coming down. Uh, yeah, tomorrow. But as you're aware from previous videos, we had to chop some more uh, wood back. <coughs> Excuse me. So we did that today. But whilst doing it, we discovered what we thought was a maybe like a um, what do you call it? <coughs> you know, like shelter that you go to should like, you know, you're getting bombed type thing. Um, but George went in there and I think, what is it? What's that there? I think it's probably the fuzz. Because I'll do the video that probably George did, Henry did uh, Charlie did one, but to be honest. We found a bunker. Yes. <sighs> Underground bunker. Whoa. Yeah, come on, Lily, you come in? No, <laughs> Alright, oh. we've got light. Right, it's not very big, is it? Well, it is a small bunker. I'm not going down the tunnel. I can't see anything, because you're in the way. It's nothing major, it's just a small bunker. There's a pipe in the bucket. I saw. Is there a room? No. It just says that they down into a pipe. And then there's a bucket. It looks like um, it goes to. I don't even remember all that good. So we come across this. Which, as you can see, goes through. And somewhere here is a round cover. Which is probably just this stone that you can see on the edge there. Um, <coughs> so I'm pretty sure because there's a pipe in there and there's a bucket which is underneath the pipe. So I'm assuming that uh, that's what was the fuzz. It's, it's deep enough to be the fuzz. But where it goes after that, it's probably underneath the bucket, but the bucket's full up, and to be honest, I'm not sure that I want to go down there and empty it at this moment in time, because I don't know what's in there. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, we cleared all of that. I'm not touching that tree. They've put a mark on it. I need to cut it. And although I don't mind using chainsaws, uh, the road is just there, just the other side of that bush. 
and you've got a lot of limbs and stuff which are going towards the road and in the experience of doing all these here they keep on getting tied up within all the other leaves and bushes so they're not really going where you want them to fall they're just getting stuck so they can do that um, so yeah this will do actually looks like a bush itself but <laughs> they're not that's all the stuff that we've got to put well, most of it's going through there Sam's going to build basically a wall around here if she wants to drill out holes and then put a bit of wood quite long in the ground and then she wants to weave some form of a pattern out of logs to make like, a retaining wall so that's a job that she wants to do a new idea when that's going to get done I don't know because we don't have a lot of time on our hands we're still trying, we haven't even emptied the bar yet of all the stuff that's got to go to the dishettery because obviously we're working, taking the kids to school, Sam's been off to Paris um, the, the tree situation going on we just, you know, haven't had a lot of time on our hands I'm now starting a, a big job this Thursday and that's going to go on for at least, well, at least a week, if not longer. Um, and then after that, I've got other jobs to go and do for customers, so it's a bit of a, a bit of a nightmare for us. But we did sit there and say, because the winter for us is is tough, um, because most of our business is, as you know, gardening, well, cutting people's grass. We're not landscape gardeners or anything like that, but uh, in the summer months, obviously, we're busy. In the winter months, we barely have any work on. But now all these other jobs have come along now, which are ideal for winter. That could see us through the winter. I have booked a couple in for like, October time. Um, so I have some winter work this year. So I really don't want to have to sit there and struggle like we have done this past winter. Uh, and equally it'd be nice in the winter that we can then start doing the house when I want to get in there and start doing it but as I said to Sam once these trees are down then that's that's us done here now there shouldn't be any more hiccups along the way that's gonna um, cause us any more inconvenience so we can actually get on with the job in hand obviously other than going to work but we all have to do that um, there shouldn't be anything else that comes along and bites us in the bum that we need to deal with because obviously these trees are very important they've got to come down because at any moment that could fall into the road I know we're insured, I've checked it but they could fall into the road and cause a lot of damage you know, even kill someone I, I would never would never be able to forgive myself if someone got killed, especially with like a mother and child or something like that. I'd never be able to forgive myself, so that's important and that needs to get done. So anyway, they've been done tomorrow. There's another tree over by the gate that's coming down tomorrow. You just see it, see the top of it there. That's coming down tomorrow. And being processed and being taken away and they're clearing the drive of all the big logs on the drive. So everything should be neat and tidy as we wanted it <coughs> initially so yeah that's been, uh, it's been our day I've already done already did a video I think it was, did it on Friday but I haven't uploaded that one yet I'm trying to get some um, footage um, that I can just you know start putting it out regularly rather than me filming it and uploading it and editing it the same, the same day so obviously I can improve on the edits etc and give you some better quality um, videos so anyway i'm gonna get off um, please like subscribe share with your friends um, yeah and all the links if you want to help us out are in the comment box you don't have to but you know it'll always help out so 
Take care, have a good evening, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Good morning. morning. Welcome to our move to France. Right. What are we doing today? Then? <laughs> right. You said you, you wanted to do the video. No, I wanted to do a quick video because today is the day with the dangerous trees coming down. Supposedly. Um. So yesterday we prepared all the land. Which I've done a video on. Which oh well, that's good. Um, cleared all that ready. So um. How many trees we've got supposedly coming down? I think in total seven. Is it? Mm. I thought it was only five. Four or five. Six. Six maybe. So Well there's five. I think there's there's either four or five on the first area that we cleared. Mm. There's one on the second area we cleared. And you've got the big one by the gate. I think. I can't remember. So fingers crossed they come down and they don't come down on the house or on the road. Um, Dear insurance. But also we're uh, filming for a, for a television program, so I don't think we're going to be filming the trees coming down because I think when we discussed it with the uh, filming chat, he said that whatever they're filming, he would rather we didn't film. Well, and I, I get that. I will be filming it, don't worry. <laughs> I don't listen that. to what Sam says. I will be filming it. At the end of the day, this is my this is my record oh, of what's mine. going on. My mine. It's my record of what's going on. So and at the end of the day, as I've said to you, it's not like they're paying us or anything like that, so why well, why am I not allowed to Well we'll discuss this we, with the chap filming today. So we may have a video going up of the dangerous trees. Um we may not. We will. But um we're just waiting for the filming guy to turn up. We've filmed with him before, haven't we? Yeah, Josh, Josh, lovely chap. Um, he should be here soon. So I think it's going to be basically all, an all-day thing. So we'll film the trees, and then here Charlie. comes Charlie. It's I went. Do what you ask okay, thank you. It's Wednesday today, so obviously Charlie doesn't have uh, Lisey. I will have to pop off at uh, twelve o'clock to go and pick the boys up from college. So we're going to utilise Charlie today to do all the tea and coffee runs. <laughs> Look at him shaking his head. Yeah. yeah. Might actually get to see him on the telly because basically we, we tell everyone we've got three kids and no one really sees them anymore, do they? No, occasionally might see George. Uh, so that's our day today. <coughs> I think it's going to be a full on day from probably once Josh gets here till... And you want to go and cut them trees down over there? half five six o'clock after the tree cutting because i don't know how much filming they're going to want of the trees where they're going to want to watch the whole of the five or six trees coming down or we'll just do a couple and then we'll go off and do what we need to do yeah we need to make a whole um an entrance an entrance for the vid grenier it's just trying to squeeze everything in isn't it we've got um every Work. time we try and do something, something else crops up. I know we're working and we appreciate we've got to go to work, but we set off to start doing the pub and then we had to halt that because then we had to clear the land ready for the trees to come down. Plus you went to Paris. Plus I went to Paris a couple of times and then it, it, before all of that happened, we were trying to do the drive when the uh, electric company destroyed all the forests and left that all over the path. So I feel frustrated because we never actually get but this is what sort of suggests that this, one is last, job this is the last hurdle now, isn't it? This is I mean, where are all the um, stuff that we've cleared? Uh, you've you've done a video of the actual amount of stuff that we've put to one side. What that we cleared? Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't see it. You can't see really the the amount on film. It doesn't look as bad on film. But that was what we were going to start to do in the summer to that area to put um, a pool there. That set us back now. So I just feel like every time we're trying to do something, we get set back. The, the pub still got bags of rubble and rubble in there because we have Rubble to, and rubble. Rubble and rubble. And rubble and rubble. And rubble, and rubble, and rubble, and rubble. rubble. We would have been at the point now where we could have probably started pointing. Started pointing. 
um, but we're a long way off from that. I, and I just get really frustrated with the whole thing of just stopping and starting projects. I like to do one thing and finish it yes, and move on to the next. But we're not in a next. position like other YouTubers where they don't have to go to work. They don't have children. They literally just are able to get up in the morning and crack on with the work on their land or in their house because they're being funded by other things. Well, we've got to go to work. We enjoy going to work, love. I don't. You don't? No, funny enough. <laughs> so you wouldn't be one of these people that if you won the lottery, you'd say, I wouldn't give up my day job. Uh, no, I wouldn't be one of those people. You're absolutely right. I'd be like, yay! Oh, dear. And then I'd pay someone to do the house. No, I don't even think it's the, the fact of um, the f so much us having to go to work i just think it's because every time we do start something somehow along the line we get disrupted with other things like the dangerous trees like the um, electricity uh, company and i just think if that hadn't happened how far forward we could have got because people are actually asking us what have we done in the house and, and i'm like really yeah but they don't know what we're doing they think, <laughs> they think we're just sitting around doing nothing but I mean, tomorrow I'm off to work. I'm off to work. The whole of next week I'm at work. So I don't have a day off all of next week. We've got Saturday and Sunday. But Sunday, got to bear in mind, there's Sunday no... Sunday we can do quiet stuff, so we could in theory load the van or do something on Sunday. What are you going to load the van with? All the rubble. And do what with it? Because the dump shut. Well, no, but then it's ready for Monday. Okay. Maybe not this weekend, because <laughs> we're working next weekend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you can see our predicament. Well, I've got to load the van up probably Sunday with all my equipment to take off to the job. So, no, it won't be this weekend. And then next weekend, I'll probably be loading the van up to bring it all back again. Oh, dear. Depending if I'll get finished or not. As I said, it's just a frustration <sighs> of just not getting one job complete. But I uh, hopefully after this tree stuff, we can well, be left. Well, after this, it's just going to be us going to work. And getting our stuff done. And getting our stuff done here. But it's just created a lot but of work. Well, yeah, it has, because now I've got to shred all of that stuff. But if I shred it, you know where the brambles are? Because the uh, chickens will kill all the brambles. Yeah. So... They're like natural weed killers, aren't they? So I should do that, and now should kill that off. I, that's what I think. It's just it's just the. Um, it's just frustration. It's it is frustrating, and it's all the aftermath of every for everyone else's stuff. Well, like, as I say, this is the last hurdle. We'll get this done, and then we can move on and start in the house and do what we've got to do. So the grounds of all. Right, up I'm going to pick this up because she's moaning. moaning again, moaning, moaning, mini here. Oh, be quiet. Charlie went to Paris with, with Sam and uh, his ears were bleeding by the time he got back. So. He enjoyed himself. We didn't. We didn't go round the centre of Paris. Cause, we uh, kind of did because you got off, off the train, come out the train station in the wrong place. There's all demonstrations obviously because of Macron and the pension situation. So we didn't go around uh, no, the centre of Paris. Not the but, um, but anyway. Yeah. I'll pick this up when uh, the, the trees are start falling there. Well the tree the dangerous trees there's plenty of trees that fallen down behind them right see you later bye bye they're not um i think it's been really badly i that don't know the pergola, Josh, that limoges we, we built and then when it fell down. strong winds it fell down yeah that's now no longer All right. the there's a uh anti-hall over here that charlie thinks he's going to deal with and we're going to have loads of people comment that we're going to be in trouble where there yeah, exactly. No, you Jesus. Go on. Do it. Off you go. I can't throw the water that far. No, you'll have we'll to pull it Take the lid off of it. Pull the lid back. Oh, no, chilly. Chilly, no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Charlie. <laughs> wow, well, that done, that done loads. That just that, that, excited them. Look yeah. at them now. Look. Yeah. Do you want to go close to it? No, no. That's why I'm not touching it until I've got the right look, stuff. Look, look at the floor. Look, look. Oh, they're even up my leg. <laughs> they're all over here, aren't they? Oh, oh, Tilly, don't go near there. Yeah, they are. Oh, 
Oh, no, I think you've just upset them, Charlie. They're going to go and get you in the night now. Reboil it. No. I told you it's not going to work. These That's are not all normal ants. At least I've never seen ants like this before. Well, when I first come over here, the whole they were making so much noise, and the whole of that mm. mound was moving. Noise. Yeah, where they were, where they were on the. Right. He's only doing one tree today because apparently he needs his colleague. He's. I don't know where the machine is. It's over there somewhere. If the tree does have a different change of mind and it's this one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll kill it. But we do have a bunker we can go on. <laughs> yeah, but you said the top of that's not very good. Yeah, so there's only been one tree today, this one. Um, being very brave by standing there. Sam standing next to him. Me and Charlie are out of the way. I had to cut some more of this wood because um, like you can see these bits sticking out the ground. I had to cut some more of that because they reckoned that they would puncture his tyres on his vehicle. Choice, then. Oh, I know. In this one, you're leaning up against. You can see, look, the bark up there. It's dead. Yeah, That's the way it's supposed to be going. He you knows the pump's there, and that's a massive slab underneath that with probably a hole. Don't put that on your mother's hair. Your mother's going to be on the television. Why would you do that? You're so horrible. I might push you down there in a minute. Do it then. So it's the biggest one that he's cutting at the moment. Huh? It's the biggest one he's cutting at the moment. Now. Huh? For now. Well, yeah. The branch is up there. Almost the um, trees he cut in our forest. Huh? I said the branches up there are almost the same size as what he cut down in the forest. What are you doing? He's <laughs> over here.
I need to be wedged for that. Nobody knows when to tell us to get out of the way. One tree. God knows what damage it's done over there. Wow. Good morning. Right. Uh, down right. right. This is the destruction from the first tree coming down, as you'll see in the video. Um. I've got to try and remove this because uh, obviously this is probably as old as the house and I don't want to lose it so and when them trees come down supposedly tomorrow I say supposedly because it's supposed to come down Wednesday Friday and tomorrow is Monday um, I don't want this to be wiped out I don't know how old it is you know, it could be a hundred years old for all I know, so I'm going to try and take it out. Fingers crossed. Um, don't quite know how it was originally installed, so I've got a clue. But even if I take it out, lay it on the floor, I think it's strong enough that um, a tree that falls on it isn't going to take it out. The spout there, as you can see, has been bent by all of this lot when the other tree come down, but I reckon that could be straightened up if necessary. So that's what I'm going to get on with now, um, and I'll update you if I come across any problems. So, here we go. So, I did the first one, and all it's done is sheared the top nut off. So, I think I'm going to have to try and grind them off. So I'm going to go and get my grinder, see if that works. If that doesn't work... Unfortunately, uh, we'll just have to pray that the uh, trees don't hit it. So I don't know how else I'm going to get it off. I haven't got any heat to heat it up. So, well, I haven't got any gas for my blowtorch <coughs> and everything's shut now, I think. So I can't go and get any. So I'm going to go and get my uh, battery gangle grinder, give that a go, 
fingers crossed it works. If not, well, as I say, it's in the, it's in the hands of the gods, as I say. So, I'm going to go and get my hand grinder and I'll uh, pick this up in a minute. Bye bye. So this one's coming down. Hopefully it goes the right way. Otherwise I might not have a car or a caravan. Same went mental the other day because they cut too many trees down apparently. Yellow things not there. Huh? These yellow things not there. The well, I assume he's driving the yellow thing up there. I won't do it without it. Sounds like it's machine coming. somewhere else. <coughs> We've just brought his yellow machine up. <coughs> oh, it's not very warm this morning. Chilling. down to the house and remove the fibre um, from the house. But otherwise the trees at the front are basically always getting a bit close.
So we're going to tie this metal rope around the bottom of the tree. And then he'll move his machine further forward. And then they'll cut the back of the tree. And then they just basically pull the thing over. Now this was supposed to be done ages ago. We don't own this land. But obviously we were having some high winds. Last year in May was when there was some, uh, some really high winds. And that's what took out the tree at the front, which ended up in the road. So as you can imagine, we, this needs to be taken down. Because the caravan is just right over the other side of it. So. <laughs> film crew are supposed to be here, but I don't know if they're turning up or not. Considering they've turned up twice for these trees to come down, and they haven't come down once, and now when they haven't turned up, they probably will come down. <coughs> right, zoom out. So the machine's now driving off. So we get out of the way. That's so they're gonna do they're gonna do three trees here. Which are all dead. Hopefully he's far enough out of the way. So, the big yellow machine's now put the rope under tension obviously stop it falling the wrong way. Getting clear, there we go. There we go, one tree down. Right, I've got to go and do the fiver, so uh, I'll pick this up when we're down the front. Bye bye. Yeah, boy, run you over. No. 
alright, he's not coming that far back, he's just turning around. About to take this tree out. Done. If you touch it and break it, it'd be on your head, wouldn't it? to move the camera isn't it somewhere else eventually right so what they're doing as like they did over the other side they put a chain around the bottom of the tree this is the worst one apparently this is the one that might hit the house if any I'm so worried this one. there he is all right this is the second tree of the day Sam's taking the photographs of the devastation. Basically, all they're taking away is the actual logs themselves. They're not taking away the bits that they're chopping off of it. So that's down to me and Sam to, down to me, to chop up. But obviously there'll be plenty of firewood, so. You should go around there and video it, because it looks horrendous. My phone's blown up. <sighs> ah, yeah, as you can see, the destruction. Unfortunately, we took the, uh, pump out over there because otherwise that would now be dead. I'm actually surprised it hasn't taken out this big tree here. Oh there's still time time. Yeah. Look at this one, there's still time. What upsets me more is the two idiots that put all of this up and then they've been everything else. Yep. <laughs> As if we haven't got enough using, to do. Using a lawnmower <laughs> and potentially the quad. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get a tow bar or something for that quad. And then at least I can put the, the trailer on it and go back and forth. You need to get a tractor of some sort that will I don't have the money for a tractor. Stuff. Can you imagine how much bending down and picking up? I don't have the Please. money for a tractor. I don't know if you know that. Okay. I'm being hollered at. One sec. I think it's got cold. Yeah. I'm going to I 
tube top. Did the other one? None. That's the last one over there, that one over there. <coughs> well, I said to him, and they went no more coop. Uh, I don't know. Now there's right? a big branch hanging off of it. Is there? Mm. So I reckon that one's going to have to come down as well. This is going to destroy this bush. <laughs> yeah. And the chimney stack. There we go. I don't think it was meant to go that way. Good morning. Right, as you've seen from the uh, previous video, all the dangerous trees are now down. It's left a lot of destruction. <coughs> um, it's 
very cold at the moment, minus two at the moment. Yeah, left a lot of destruction, as you can see, you've got tread marks from the bulldozer thing. We can't get to our front gate now because they fell a tree um, on the front driveway, which fortunately we have the rear driveway because otherwise we will no longer be able to get on and off the property. Um, we was informed yesterday that they won't be coming back till about July through to September. They have to wait for the ground to be hard before they can move all the stuff. Um, I had to remove the fibre yesterday due to the cable going where the trees were going to fall and unfortunately I managed to break that so we tried to ring the company last night but not speaking French is not easy to to do so we haven't done that yet so we've got no internet so I'm not even sure when this video will be uploaded uh, I might as well take you down so you can see the other tree that's come down I've got to go to work uh, I've now got four days work ahead of me spraying someone's jeet because they have a retreat in two weeks time but next week we have guests coming or well, this Sunday we have guests coming uh, Sunday, Monday we have more filming because the guests are coming so yeah basically I've got four days to, I'll show you, I'll record it um, the owner doesn't mind so <clears throat> so this is our driveway now <laughs> you can't even see the gate the gate is still there we went we walked around yesterday and checked that but this isn't going to be cleared now until uh, as I say September so <sighs> As I've said before in other videos, please, for the love of God, do your due diligence before you buy a property. Go and speak to as many people as you can, because this is all none of our doing. <coughs> this isn't something that we wanted to do. Oh, Sam didn't shut the shutters. This isn't something we wanted to do. This is something that's been left behind us, and yet again, probably going to have to have another lawsuit the previous owner to recoup the mo any money that we've lost we go this way we have one more tree left up which I said they're not taking down I think they said that it's, it's alive so they didn't need to take it down so oh yeah so yeah and all of this isn't going to be cleared up till the same time that's one, and there's, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get to it, this is a tree that's remaining, although they've broken the branches at the top there, which I actually thought that tree was going to take out when they took it down, but it didn't, just wander around here, so yeah, as I say, just check everything, check with a Marie, check with an OTA, uh, before you go and buy something because there's a parcel of land behind our caravans which I've got the chaps to chop the trees down over there because the one one of them was right next to the caravan <coughs> and there was another two which were next to our, our wall Sam went to go and speak to the neighbour yesterday to try and get the details because we was debating about buying the little plot just to guard ourselves from any future issues and they was in talks of selling it to their next door neighbour, which is fine. Here we go. So as you remember, this is what we used to call Snake Pit 1. There used to be a tree there. Uh, where all the tarpaulin and stuff. Somewhere over there is the fibre. Which eventually I'm going to have to clamber over and put it back through the wall. Now you can see the, the, the house opposite. It's not as bad from the road. You can't really see in here, so it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, all of this, all the little bits we've got clear, and obviously they're going to take the trunks away. 
because that's worth money to her. So yeah, that's what we're left with. So anyway, what I was saying was, um, Sam was speaking to a neighbour, and it would appear that the lady was going to sell it to the next door neighbour without taking down them trees as well. So when the neighbour bought it, obviously he's aware of the trees, but when and if the neighbour bought it, it'll then be down to him to get these trees chopped down, or if he didn't get the trees chopped down, then he basically would be liable should the tree hit the caravan or one of our sheds, which obviously has lawnmowers and other bits and pieces in there, which, you know, aren't cheap. So he would have been liable for that. Um, so yeah, so you had us. So I've got to get all my machinery out now. Take that up to the caravan because you can't bring the van down here as it's too uh, it's too boggy down here. And normally what we'll do is drive the van down and go straight out the front, but <laughs> we can't do that. So that's what I'm going to be up to today. As I say, I'll film what I'm what I'm doing. Sam's got to clean the sheet, and I've got to paint it. Uh, all in four days. Um, so that's the task we have ahead of us. Uh, I'm just going to take these up here. So yeah, um, please like and subscribe if you enjoying these videos. Uh, if you want to help us out, you become a member of the channel, or links will be in the description to. Our patron and other bits and pieces where we are doing uncut videos um, videos that have never been seen on YouTube because they are a little bit tongue in cheek so <coughs> yeah if you fancy doing that that would help us out massively so take care out there and oh, we'll talk to you soon See you later. Bye bye. Good morning. Welcome to Amelie's of France. It's uh, Friday. I don't know. Um, just finishing up the uh, job this week. Um, just got to spray a little toilet today. Uh, I'm just going down to the shed to try and find some specialist paint. Uh, so I've got a little bit of a, an update uh, regarding the idiot that uh, used our house to uh, sell all of his rubbish. Yesterday while I was at work, the uh, boys were off because the, the, we had a strike here in France yesterday and most of the teachers that had, uh, didn't turn up to school. So I wasn't about to take the children to school for an hour then they have to go and pick them up as it was we had a meeting yesterday with Charlie's school as regards to what he's going to do um, how he's going to proceed etc etc <coughs> so anyway whilst we was at work this idiot turned up uh, and basically demanded 300 euro out of us for the beds that he left here which obviously we we took it that he was leaving the beds here um, as some form of payment because they're only worth about 50 euro maximum um, for using our electricity etc but apparently not he turned up here yesterday demanding 300 euro for these beds so I sent him a message to say basically I don't really want them because they're busted anyway come back, take them, give me 300 euro for my electricity, the use of my house, the damage it caused to my land, and the use of the van, because Sam was driving backwards and forwards to his house, picking up this stuff for him to sell. On top of that, we introduced him to a couple of people, one being uh, a YouTuber, um, 
they've got a, a channel uh, not what is it not not quite a chateau or something like that um, he came here and bought some stuff up of him so we actually earned him money I think it's, uh, all in all it's about a thousand euros um, and then he turns up here demanding 300 euro out of us so I said yeah you can come here and give me 300 euro and take these beds with you uh, he didn't seem very happy about that and then proceeded to call me a thief and that I'd stole from him and that I have a, I have a, a horrible attitude apparently uh, da, 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 da. don't want that don't want that so I'm just looking at me paint I should have some stone block here somewhere right This stuff in France. Um, I went yesterday, so I need to buy some foam for the caravan, for the shower. Foam filler. Uh, because the shower in the other caravan, the, the shower tray is... <coughs> it's got a crack, crack in it. Um, so I was going to fill it with foam. Because otherwise, I've got to take the whole thing out. It's not like I can just take out a uh, the shower tray and replace it because it's also a sealed unit. Um, Twenty five euro for a can of spray foam. So this stuff, which they probably don't sell here, because I looked yesterday and I couldn't see anything in, in the shop. I bought some other stuff, but <coughs> this uh, 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 sealer. Um, it probably costs a lot, 100 euro, just for a little tin, two and a half, two and a half litre tin. It probably costs about 70, 100, something stupid. I mean, paint here, for a pot of paint, 10 litre pot of paint, is 70 euro. And their paint here is not particularly brilliant anyway. It's like water, most of it. <coughs> it's just, you know, stupid money here. Absolutely stupid. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. When I used to I used to go to the Dulux Centre, I've got an account with the Dulux Centre and I used to pay about sixteen sixteen pounds for ten litres. And now I'm paying seventy pounds for or seventy euro for ten litres. And I really don't understand how it's justified, but that's what it is, so you have to get on with it, I guess. So yeah, um, just thought I'd do a little uh, little video to tell you about this con artist and his wife. Um, uh, they basically sent me a, a message saying don't contact them again. Well, I wasn't going to anyway. After the, the what they done at the house, and basically drove off. I had no intention of getting in contact with them again. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it's never a dull day. Uh, the tree people are now finished, they're taking all their machinery, so Sam doesn't have to stress about that anymore, of having it come back and the, uh, <laughs> some more woods chopped down, they've all gone now. <coughs> We've now just basically got to wait till September time. Um, because I've got to wait until the, the uh, ground's dry and then they'll be taking it all away. <coughs> so we've got all this lying in the woods, as you can see. And there's more down down there, down at the bottom of the driveway, so it's all stacked up down there. Uh, and you've got the big trees at the front of the house. So we can't even use the front drive at the moment because it's blocking the front drive. They cut down the trees where the caravan is. Um, so now they're now safe. Um, so yeah, we we can now get on now. Once we've finished this big job, we then have some breathing time to get on and do a few bits and pieces that we want to do, i.e. the pub. I've got 
Uh, I've got to install a new consumer unit into the house. And then I'm going to run all the electrical cables, so on and so forth, the, the, the pipe work, all that lot, and we can start planning on moving forward with the house. Because we want to be in the house this time next year, because these are going to be rented out to paying guests uh, next summer. So we need to crack on with other things. But obviously we've been... <coughs> everything's just been delayed because of the trees and, and other bits and pieces. As Sam said the other day, we're not um, we're not a massive YouTube channel. We don't earn... Uh, well, I barely earn anything out of YouTube. You know, it's not even worth talking about. Um, so we can't sit there and go, OK, well, we don't need to go to work so we can just renovate a house. You know, there's a lot of people in the comments that are sitting there saying, um, when are you going to do the house? When are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? And it's, it's, you know, we can't do it. We can't, we're not like the other YouTube channels that you that you see um, as regards to they're earning enough money. Um, you know, some are earning four or 5,000 a month uh, off their YouTube channel. Yeah, if we was earning that. If we was on a hundred hundred k subscribers, and we was earning four thousand a month, then we probably could not go to work because that would that that'd be enough for us to put food on the table and pay the bills. We're not at that stage, so we have to go to work um, to earn money to pay for the house, to pay for all the insurances you need in France because it's not just car insurance. You've got health insurance, top up insurance. You got you know you, there's a lot of expense in France. So, and we're not at the point where we can, you know, justify not going to work. And I don't think we'll ever be at that point. So, for all those out there sitting there saying, oh, when are you going to do the house, blah, blah, blah. Well, when we can. Because, you know, as I say, we need to earn money. We need to, to work for a living. And when we're not working, we can crack on with a few bits on the house. But... We've had a lot of setbacks in regards to uh, the trees. I feel like I needed to be here and keep an eye on them because of what Enedis did, the electricity company who basically cut down an acre of our forest without our knowledge, without our permission. So now when anything's touched on the land, I feel like I need to be here. I can't leave people on their own, um, which means I can't get them with other things. So, and that, that was two weeks that I had to take off of work because I was supposed to turn up when Sam was in Paris. They didn't. Then they turned up the following week. So that's two weeks I lost because um, I'd written a list. I'd put on the, on, the, on the whiteboard a list of things I was going to be doing while Sam was in Paris. <coughs> None of it got done. Um, predominantly that was clearing all the, the stuff out of the, the cave so we can move on with um, the cave and getting the, the, the pub set up and the electrics running and all that kind of stuff but you know basically the cave is as you saw it last there's rubble all over the floor there's rubble in rubble bags which has got to go to Shettery Every, you know everything has been set back so it is what it is I'm not uh, not dwelling on it I'm not upset about it it's just you know just letting uh, you guys know out there that we are trying, but um, you know, life is life and things get in the way. So we will be getting on with the house. We will be getting on with the cave. We will be getting on with the pub. We've got Vid Grenier in June, which means I've got to go over and cut some trees down to make uh, like access for all the vehicles that turn up. Um, so that's another thing that's going to get in the way of doing the pub and doing the house because that's got to be done because that's going to earn us money. And as I say, we need to earn money to do the house. So, yeah. But other than that, looks like it's going to be a nice day. It's uh, not in the minuses this morning. There's no frost on the ground, so that's nice. Um, so, yeah, it's just a quick catch-up. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Please like, subscribe. Um, if you want to help us out, there's some links in the description. 
Uh, we're not begging for it. We're not like these other channels. But if you want to help us out, like a few people have asked about buying me a coffee and things like that, I'll put all the links in the description. It's up to you, what, you know, if you do or you don't. We all know it's a bit of a struggle at the moment, so the price of everything's gone up. So, yeah, have a good weekend, and we'll catch up with you soon. See you later. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning. Just morning. Um, welcome to our move to France. Uh, today we have some guests coming over from the UK. Uh, Rachel, Wedge and Benjamin. Benjamin being their son, which is Charlie's best friend. Uh, doing a bit of a trial run on the caravan to see if it's okay. Uh, make sure that I've got everything they want and they have a comfortable sleep, etc, 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 before we rent them out next year. Cut the grass this morning. All we done before 12 o'clock. Well, I had to stop because it's, it's just before 12 now, so... Uh, leveled the driveway off at the bottom because that was bumpy. Uh, Sam's going to clean the caravan that they're staying in. It's not really dirty, but she's going to give it a quick once over. We've got the film crew here, he's just arrived. Um, there's been no more action on the tree front. They've gone now. And they won't be back for a while until the, uh, the ground has hardened up, as I said before. I haven't even been in there. I don't want to go in there to see what they've done. Put the extra chairs in the car so we can go out tonight. Going out to a place called La Celle, La Celle d'Anois, which is a, it's called, called No Burge, which is a restaurant, uh, which is right by uh, a river. It's a really beautiful location. I have done a video on it previously. I think it was one of the first ones we did actually. So, yeah, we'll do a bit of filming later on. I'm sure, we'll take a wander around the town and uh, we'll let you know how the next few days go. We're here from Sunday to Thursday. I've got to go to Limoges Airport shortly to go and pick them up. In fact, I might actually be called Limoges Airport because I find that quite amusing because it's so small and yet it's like the main town for us. Yeah, that thing's teeny. That's providing that air traffic control don't decide to walk out and none of this actually happens. Which, in that case, this will probably be the only video regarding it. <laughs> but we'll see. Right, I'll pick up later. Probably coming on that little one over there. <laughs> so, this is Limoges Airport. <coughs> Huge building, as you can see. Nothing like the ones we're used to. Just waiting now, got about 10 minutes, and the people, the French should be landing. So, what well, yes, if the Pacific won't see the plane coming in. Right, hurry up. That arrived. I don't know what aeroplane that is. Small one. Little place still on the ground. Really oh. <laughs> Not that one. I don't know. I'll probably see you. Wave.
mean, it's, it's got to be motorised or something. I'm not pulling it with brute force, is it? <coughs> Got no trailers, just one car. That stand sit there will be about 10, 15 cars beyond that at least, and probably like three or four of them. Up in a little one. 